What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name is Mimi and if you're not new, thank you for returning to my channel. I started vlogging today, but I went about my morning and I realized that I didn't actually introduce the video. So I'm going to put this before my whole morning routine just to say hello and to say what's up. And obviously the elephant in the room, we are in a different apartment. We moved to Tulsa about a week and a half ago or two weeks ago and it's just been like a whirlwind like crazy we literally just moved in and we have to go get gucci some food and get some essentials because he has training in like an hour so here's just a quick cute Okay, we really gotta set up our litter box and then head to the store really quick. This is it, this is our life possessions. Nothing else, because we are minimalists. One of us is. <laughs> so we moved here and he started his training last week, was his first week. He's been doing double days, so he's totally exhausted. I've been trying to work and trying to do a bunch of drafting and rendering stuff for clients back home while also like ordering furniture and trying to get this whole apartment set up. So it's just been a little chaotic and I haven't filmed until now, but today I was feeling it, so we're just gonna go with it. There's actually some fun stuff happening. So I'm gonna roll right now the clips that I filmed this morning when I woke up, made coffee, worked out and everything, and then I will see you guys back here in a couple minutes. Oh, good morning. Some people look good in the morning, others, Need a little bit of time and coffee. Good morning, don't. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gucci. So Shelly was super nice this morning and he woke up early, did the dishes, made himself breakfast. You never eat my breakfast for you. You never want eggs in the morning. I do, I don't want spinach. Today there's no spinach, so they're perfect. Every single time I ask you for eggs in the morning, you go, no, no, I'm good. I know, I'm kidding. I'm going to make coffee. I hear it, Gooch. I hear it. <gasps> there it is. Look at this model. Did you get it under there again? Did you? How did it happen? How did it happen? Gooch. You did what? Really? I don't believe you. <laughs> Look at this thing. What is this thing? Look, she's falling asleep now. <laughs> Tucking herself out. She did. How are you liking the apartment? I'm really, really liking it. It's, I just need a couch. I don't realize how much a couch adds to the atmosphere of like an apartment and how like crucial it is. Like I knew it, but like, and I'm so spoiled. Like, oh, this is, uh, I need a couch so bad. But especially during double days, you just want to sit and not just sit like this, 
You want to put up your feet, lie down, and be comfy, get under the blanket. So you're telling me the tape isn't good enough? Guys, this is gonna be my couch, and that's gonna be his couch. We've already blocked it up out. It's gonna fit perfectly. And then this little one, what? She can chew the couch every time. I She's know. Noisy this one. She's very noisy. Look at you. She's a sun goddess. Currently on hold, trying to figure out a hardware issue, and I need to return authorization. So this is just part of the process. So once this finishes up, I'm gonna go work out because I just wanna start my day in a healthy way. I had cookies last night, not proud of it. So this is where we're at. Just got back from the gym. It's 11-11, weird, make a wish. I was there for, oh my God, my arm's shaking. I was there for so long because I kept getting distracted and like I did a bunch of business during my workout, which is not ideal, but I got stuff done. Great workout, honestly. I did like 40 minutes of cardio and then I did some back and buys. I'm gonna shower and just get ready for the day and then I have a huge to-do list. That's what I was writing this morning when I was drinking my coffee, so I'm gonna get through that. So this is our little dining table where we've been doing just a lot. Shelly has crumbs everywhere. We've been doing a lot of work on here just because our desks have computers all over them. So we keep this Moncala board on here and we play this like every time we sit down together. It's really fun and we're both like super competitive. So we have a scoreboard running on his whiteboard that we just are gonna keep track forever. So really fun and I also got these black um, like stones because it was kind of like a colorful blue but they were too big. Like the ones that it came with were too big for the little bowl things. So I got these black ones which look really cool and then every morning I like to sit here, have my coffee and do my to-do list. And as you can see, this is for Monday. Freaking huge to-do list. So really want to get through that. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. And so what's happening? It's like 12 o'clock. You guys saw I worked out. I just showered and got ready. Yeah, it's 12.06. I haven't even had breakfast yet, which is really weird because I love breakfast, but it's just been, like I said, crazy. Let me turn the air off. Sorry guys, I'm just waiting for the air to turn off because I can turn the air off, but I can't turn the fan off. It's auto, so just give it a second. There we go, okay. So, some exciting things happening today. I... What am I doing? I don't even know where to begin. Ugh. Okay, so I will just start off with the pillow. So we have a king mattress. You guys know that we just literally have a mattress. We don't have a bed frame like anything. And I told myself that when we moved into this apartment, I would get myself a nice king pillow because I've never had one. And my traps have been so tight and sore. So I was like, I want to get a nice pillow for once in my life. So I went and bought one but they didn't have pillowcases. So I ordered that and that just arrived. So I have to go get that from the mailbox. But our rug is supposed to be here today. So I'm gonna wait until that gets delivered as well and then I can pick them both up at the same time. And then I just got a really exciting text that our couches are gonna be here tomorrow. Tuesday? Yeah, tomorrow. So we ordered two sofas off of Article, which is an amazing website. I love their style and their quality and everything. So we wanted to do, well, Shelly wanted to do a sectional. He was like really adamant about that. But as we were looking for sectionals in our price range, I was just thinking like, they're not that big. They're not gonna be that good of quality because sectionals are always just more expensive. So if we got one sectional, it just wouldn't be that nice. I don't think we'd both be able to fully like lay down and sleep and nap and everything. So I was like, you know what, let's just do two sofas instead. So I convinced him and he's totally on board. So we bought two sofas from Article. They both are the perfect size. They're actually pretty big, but we both, like I said, wanted to fit on them comfortably. So he's just been miserable because he is the total couch person. Like he has to take his nap on the sofa every single day at like two o'clock. So it's just been like misery for him for the last two weeks, but they're finally gonna be here tomorrow and it's an in-home delivery. So the guys are gonna, they're gonna be wearing a mask, but they're gonna come in and hopefully set it all up. And that will just be so nice. So I'll show you guys what we have so far in the living room. Right when we moved in, we, you know, we've set aside a budget for furniture and we decided, you know what, let's invest good money in nice quality items that we're gonna actually use a lot. 
so the sofas the table and the chairs we decided to actually spend like a little bit of money on and then everything else i was like i can find on craigslist facebook marketplace offer up just for super cheap and i just think that's a really good way to go about it instead of spending like a medium amount on everything because then you get high quality items you also get a lot of character because you're getting used things and I personally just think it's always nice to buy used furniture that's real solid wood rather than spend the same or even more on like Amazon or Wayfair. That's just my personal opinion. It's obviously not everyone's taste because it's all kind of old vintage furniture, but we got a console for $40, solid oak. We got a coffee table that's solid oak for $25. And we got an end table that's the perfect square size for between the sofas for I think 40 or 50, which is amazing. So we got all of those pieces and then I bought two lamps. I got one floor lamp from Home Goods, and then I got a table lamp from Target that kind of goes with the whole look I'm going for. I really wanted the lamps to just be kind of slim and just kind of disappear because it's not that large of a space. And I really like how it's turned out. So we got our dining chairs. We got four of them from Pottery Barn. And they're really good quality. They're really cool and modern. Shelly loves them. So we're going to have four around our table. But two right now we're using as our desk chairs. Because we don't have those chairs yet. The round dining table we got from Target. It's also like pretty good quality and really strong. So I'm happy with that. And then the two desks in our bedroom I got from Amazon. Because... We just didn't have it in the budget to buy two nice desks and I don't really see ourselves keeping them. They're really, they're pretty small, but we had to fit two in our bedroom. So the exact size I wanted and the strength and the look and everything I just got off of Amazon and that was fine. So that's what we have. And the couches will come tomorrow. The rug will come today. You guys will see that. And then we're just kind of slowly decorating a little bit. We're trying to make it more comfortable and more homey, but obviously not spend a bunch because we're only here for 10 months. So that's my little update, but I'm gonna make some food right now. I was gonna make breakfast, but since it's lunchtime, I'm just gonna make tacos, because that's what I actually want. Um, I'll show you guys what I put in them. I made some taco meat the other day that's just been lasting us forever, and I have all of my little ingredients. The thing with tacos, they're, they're amazing. They're like one of my favorite foods to eat, especially this kind that I make but there's so many little things to get out and heat up and stuff. It's kind of annoying to have leftovers, but it's delicious. So I don't mind. Oh, we're out of guacamole. Okay, whatever. So what I've been doing is I bought these tortillas from Whole Foods. The ones that I actually wanted, they were sold out. They've been like sold out of all their tortillas lately. I don't know why. My favorite tortillas right now for tacos are a mixture of corn and flour, which I never had until I went to Shelly's house, but his mom buys them from Whole Foods and they're so good. They're like fluffy, but they feel homemade and they're a good size. I don't know, but I couldn't find the exact ones. These ones work. You can see it just says wheat and corn. Really recommend, but they were out of those. So I had to buy just some of these wheat ones, which is fine. And then for the tacos, I do, this is an organic refried bean that I like to put a little bit in my taco, sometimes on the side if I'm feeling hungry. And then I don't have that much left, but I do um, like a lean ground beef and I have this taco seasoning that I mix up. Thank you to Laura, also from Shelly's mom. And then it's super easy. You just throw it all together, obviously make a taco. This sour cream is a vegan sour cream. It's called Tofuti, but it's milk free and it's really, really good. I actually like it better than sour cream. So highly recommend this. And then <laughs> shout out to Shelly's mom again. Just buy some frozen corn. I get the white sweet corn and regular yellow corn and I mix it together throw in some butter and some salt on the stove and it's so good. You just kind of brown them a little bit until it's golden. Really, really good. So that's gonna be my lunch and Gucci wants some as always. My little Goochster here loves taco meat. She loves it. She also loves sour cream and corn. She's been stealing my corn kernels, especially the frozen ones. She loves the frozen ones. Oh, you like that? You like that? I don't know if she's gonna kill me or... <laughs> she always makes me nervous when she stares at me. Cause sometimes 
if you look at her in the eyes too long, she like lunges at you. She's actually getting nicer though as she gets older, which is really nice. Okay, I'm gonna heat all this up. I'm just gonna heat these up in the microwave. Well, that's heating up. I wanted to show you guys another project that I have today that I'm super excited about having. I just don't wanna set it up, but you know, that's life. I really, really, really needed a printer. I cannot, if you know me, I cannot live without a printer. I don't know what it is. It just helps me be organized. I have to be able to print stuff out, especially with design work, because like if I'm editing drawings and stuff, it's so hard for me to do that on paper. I mean, on the computer, I need to do it in paper. So I was gonna get a smaller printer. I was gonna be more reasonable. But then I was like, you know what? This is the one that I want. This is the one that I have at home in San Diego and I freaking love it. Let me show you. So it's the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740. It's wide format, so that means it can print 11 by 17 and eight and a half by 11, which is so nice if you're doing large drawings. Sorry about the microwave. And it prints in color, it's all in one, so it faxes. It has like Bluetooth, you can use your phone. It copies, it scans, it's so good, it's fast. The quality is really, really nice and also holds a lot of paper. So I was like, you know what, let's just do it and I'll just put it in the closet because it's ginormous. I don't know if you guys can tell the size of this thing, like this is my hand, it's, it's a huge box. What I'm hoping, because I don't have a table for it, what I'm hoping is I can take it out of the box and then use the box as like a table for it. Um, but I don't know how heavy it's gonna be. So that's my project for today, but Watch out Gooch But <laughs> Shelly was laughing at this picture It says you need two people and I'm not gonna attempt it by myself So when Shelly gets home, I'll have him help me get it out of the box It's one thing about moving into a new kitchen. You have to figure out like how powerful the microwave is We figured out that our oven runs cold, but our stove runs really hot like this is already really really hot so you just gotta, you gotta learn. We've definitely gone through a couple cookies that were not cooked perfectly, but now we figured out the right temperature and time for his cookies. Okay, also excuse this huge chunk of butter. We bought, we went to Costco, we bought butter, and it's like Costco sized butter. I didn't even know it came like this. Like another size reference. It's about four times the size of a normal block of butter. Um, and yes, those are probably cat marks. I. Yeah, we don't have a butter dish, so she just licks it. It's so bad, but this is the corn Really really yummy So I bought a new tripod and I'm still trying to figure out like how to use it I don't know and I actually put jeans on today. Like what is happening? Normally do not wear jeans at home, but I was like I need to look good for these people I've Got a lot of followers now <laughs> Like 19,000 Oh my god, I'm almost, wait, am I at 19 or at 18? I don't know, but I'm almost at 20, which is insane. You guys are amazing. This is my lunch setup, and Gucci's hoping for lunch, but not gonna happen. She only gets fed twice a day, but she always forgets. <laughs> yes, you. Megan Markle interview. Top search on Google. Billion people I around found the it. globe watch their wedding. Still watching the interview. Uh, there's a lot of commercials, but it's this is a very juicy interview, and I highly recommend watching if you haven't. I feel very bad for her, honestly. I don't know how anybody could hate her. She seems so sweet. So between um, the commercial breaks, because there's so many commercials in this interview, I'm updating my calendar because. I wanna put in Shelly's games. It's always nice to have those in my calendar because then I don't have to look at like the team's website every single time I wanna know when he's playing. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my calendar together. I'm trying to be really organized this year because whenever I rely on my memory to remember appointments and stuff, it's, it just does not go well. A lot going on at the same time. I always batch my San Diego appointments so that I can just fly back and do all of them like at once. So that's what I'm doing. This interview is pretty long and I want to keep continue watching because it's really good. So I'm just kind of doing work in between. I also just did a couple emails to some clients and um, once Shelly gets back, I'm going to do my printer because I have a lot to print out. I have a list of things that I want to print out. That's how excited I am to print. I don't quite understand. So 
basically there's this test that we do, there's eight different levels. There's, it goes 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and then 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. Mm -hmm. And it goes all the way up to 8.3. 8.3 is the highest. After that, it's just done. You, you just keep on doing 8.3 until you drop. I did. I finished 8.3, and then I stopped. So you, so you finished the fitness test? I finished the fitness test. So that means that you're the fittest person in the world. No. What does it mean? It means the test isn't hard enough. Yeah, exactly. So Mike said that next year, he has, he's going to make it up to in the nine. He's like, he's like a kid. He's like, he's like, I've never seen anybody finish this. So he's like, if Shelly finished it. So now from now on, he's like, I, 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 we're going to have to make a nine and just in case somebody comes along. It's even more of a freak than Shelly. You're crazy. Yeah, so I fucking finished it. Well, congratulations. I have some good news. Huh? Our couches are coming tomorrow. Yeah! <laughs> um, it says between yes. 12.30 and 4, so I'll be here. 12.30? You better like, sit right outside that front door. <laughs> I was thinking about like maybe going on a walk during that time. No. Oh, I'm so excited. I know, and the rug has not been delivered yet, but it'll be here today. Yeah, I saw that. Yes, I'm so pumped about the couch. Hopefully they're comfortable. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't even matter at this point. They could be cardboard. All right, well, let me finish watching this interview. It's juicy. All right, well, I'll be home in five minutes, so see you soon. In January 2020, Prince Harry you walked in at the best part. Harry just came into the interview. They're talking about when they lost their security. Who is this? Who are you talking about? The prince. Harry. Is this a new thing? Is this a TV show? No, it's the real. It's Meghan and Harry. They haven't, oh, done, an, they haven't done an interview since they left the royal family. I didn't even know they left the royal family. Well, they got kicked out. That's the big news. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So how do you feel, stud? Like a stud. <laughs> Who beats fitness tests? Your boy. How did I end up with someone this athletic? This is just the funniest thing to me. I would avoid fitness at all costs. On the, uh, the last, everybody avoids fitness at all costs. Not you. The last, the last, uh, the very last sprint, um, I was going and like, I was, cause I just wanted, cause literally it was like, uh, each set pretty much is a triple shuttle run. Yeah. So one sure. one level is there, back, there, back, there, back. And I knew I was on 8.3, the last level of the of the whole fitness test. There, back, there, back was like fine. There I started like my legs started everything was burning. On the way back, the you know when you stand up too fast and you have the tunnel vision? Yeah. Like the vision. <laughs> Like, like all you can see is the finish line. I thought I was gonna pass out halfway. Oh my god. And then I finished and I just went down and I just felt like I was gonna throw up. It was like nauseous for a while, but it oh was Oh my god. But it was You're not supposed to do that, babe. I did it. It was sick. So now that now next year they're gonna have to move it up to uh the same level nine. Well, um thank you for the the goods. Yeah, let me know if you don't finish it, I'll finish it. How many did you get? I've already had, I had one, they give you a cookie, fruit, bath, and some other stuff. Okay, I'll try my best. I'm trying to figure out my uh, plane ticket situation for April. Okay. That's what you're saying, that's the idea. Well, so, I mean, I think there's a reason that these tabloids have holiday parties at the palace. They're hosted by the palace, the tabloids are. You know, there is a construct that's at play there. Can I help you? And because from the beginning of our relationship, they were so ah, oh, she got me. so much racism, Dang. really. Mm -hmm. I mean, it changed our the risk level because it went. It wasn't just catty gossip. It was bringing out a part of people that was racist in how it was charged. Mm -hmm. And that changed the threat. <gasps> it changed the level of death threat. Get out of here. Everything. So tell me this. You said... Hey. A moment ago, it hurts that your family has never acknowledged the role that racism played in here. Did you think she was well received in the beginning? Yes, far better than I expected. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, but, you know, my, my grandmother has been amazing throughout. Stop! Um, you know, my father, my brother, Kate, and, and all the rest of the family, they were, they were, they were really welcoming. No, but I've been waiting all day to get the printer out. I just need to get get it out of the box. Well, you better tell Goochter, not me. Goochter. This isn't fair. She just sits on you whenever I want you to do something. I don't know. <laughs> you guys plan it. Gooch. She got me today. Yeah. How? Bare of teeth? She was hiding behind my computer and then reached around and got me. The claws aren't even that sharp. I know. Can we just wait 30 minutes to after my nap? No. I want to print stuff. I have a whole list of stuff I'm print, gonna print. Okay, but you gotta get. Finished, and you can't so. you can't use my new pillow until I use it. I'm using it right now. <sighs> Comfy. Yeah, it's real down. It was expensive. I was gonna get you one, but you said that you didn't want one. I don't want one. There's nothing, honestly. Ask your followers. There's nothing better than the Walmart ten dollar pillow. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are different people. After feeling this though, that's real down. No. Oh, it's so I'll take nice. The, I'll take the Walmart ten dollar pillow any day. Okay, help me. We just got to move it into the. Right we're gonna put it in the closet in there. Oh my god, I'm so excited! This is the best day ever. Kids, your dreams do come true. <laughs> you just have to pay for it. Yeah. Honestly, my nails would be sharper than that. Wait, I, we have to read the instructions. So we pull it out by the bag. Yeah. The grand reveal. I'm not going to show Shelly's side because he needs to clean up. But it actually fits nicely right here. So now I have to set it up. Oh, uh oh, I didn't think about it. Is there a plug in here? He does not like printers. <laughs> okay, put them all in. No. Whoa. <laughs> Gucci is losing. Just picked up our rug from the mail room and I also got my pillowcases, super exciting. So I'm gonna clean the floor and put down this rug pad that we bought the other day. That'll just help make it a little bit squishier and also so it doesn't move around. So I'm gonna prep the floor, move this stuff, and then put that down. Keep it, wait, 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 wait. wait. Take it off for the most part, but leave that corner so I can see where it ends. Like, just leave like a dot here. Console? Yeah. I don't know which direction this is going. Okay, so one way is this way. Go Um. So, yeah, we can move it around. I wanted to tuck just a little bit under each sofa. So we can have it cover more of that area if we want, or we can just leave it there so the chairs don't go on it. Hey, get out of here. Maybe like here, and I want to just make it square. I'll put you away. We need to cut it. The rug pad? Yeah. Okay. Because the rugs aren't exactly like 8 by 10, they're only like 7 or something. So, 
line it up like so it goes over like an inch at the bottom or two inches because you don't want it to stick out. Okay. And then I'll cut it out the side. Okay. So we can just unroll. Okay, we got a rug. I really like the color. It's kind of oatmeal-y. You, get off. Don't even think about it. No. No. And these are the pillowcases. I hope they're soft. I told Shelly I went to three different Bed Bath & Beyonds yesterday to get pillowcases. They were all sold out. I don't know what's going on with Bed Bath & Beyond, but, ooh, these should work. I am gonna turn the office on and then I have to source some accessories for a project that I am doing, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've changed my mind. We are gonna watch The Crown, because now, I'm in a royal mood, <laughs> if that's a thing. Season one, episode nine, we're getting there. Okay guys, it's like six o'clock, exactly 6.03, and Shelly just went to go fly the drone, so I'm gonna make us some dinner, I'm gonna sign off for the night because I'm tired and I wanna take my makeup off. And yeah, I'm just gonna be working on my, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep working. I might stop working, but I'm just gonna keep watching The Crown and just chill. So I will see you guys in the morning and hopefully tomorrow we will get the sofas. Fingers crossed. Can you lock it? Okay, good morning. I'm dropping them off at training. I got my coffee. I have some errands to run. Then I have to be back for the couches. Goodbye. Peace. Have fun. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Just dropped Shelly off at training and he'll just get a ride back with somebody because I need the car. So I'm just waiting for Staples to open right now because I got here a little too early. I need to get a hole puncher and I need to get a stapler super exciting and then I just need to go to West Elm just for a minute just to test out a piece of furniture and then I will be back for the rest of the day so yep just waiting for it to open it's 8:53 right now so only two more minutes not too bad and you guys know I love office supplies more than anything in the entire world so I'm actually really excited to go just got to West Elm, but they changed the hours because of COVID, so they're not open yet, which is a really big bummer, but I live around the corner, so I'm just gonna go home for a little bit. I just finished eating breakfast, um, but I just called West Elm and they are open, so I'm gonna go drive back over there, but it's honestly only like five minutes. So drive over there, test out the furniture, and then come back and just try to get some work done. So just started the dishwasher, that's probably what you guys can hear and let's go also i probably look crazy but i put on a lot of sunscreen today because i watched this youtube video not youtube instagram video from this girl who's like a professional skin journalist i don't know she talks about skin a lot and like skin products and stuff and she was saying how much spf you should actually be putting on your face and it's supposed to be like a third of a teaspoon or something I forget the exact measurement, but it's a lot more than you think and you're supposed to like really, really like slather it on. So that's what I did today. And um, I actually kind of like the little glow that it's giving, but I'm trying to just be way better about my skincare because she kind of scared me in a good way. She scared me straight. So for everybody watching, put your sunscreen on. She said, even if you're indoors, a lot of people are working from home right next to a window and they don't think about it. So put it on, even if you're inside. 
Okay, I'm back. And the furniture piece worked out. It's very comfortable. I just wanted to make sure I laid on it. I sat on it. I, <laughs> I looked really funny in the showroom. I just walked in, sat on this thing in all these different positions, and then I left. But um, it was successful. So I wanted to show you what I got from Staples. Not that it's super fascinating, and only I will probably find it interesting. But I got this hole puncher. And I wanted to get things that were small and compact and cheap because I don't have space for anything. So this is just, I don't know, like $10, $15 hole puncher, which looked fine. And then this is the cute little stapler I got. So I realized I didn't need like a huge one and this one looked like it would work fine. So 20 sheet capacity, not bad. And that was only $8, so really good deal. Now I'm gonna do a little work. I have some emails I have to send and I have some contracts I have to sign for uh, wedding vendor stuff. So I'm gonna just do a bunch of boring computer stuff, probably watch The Crown, and uh, I'll just catch you guys in a little bit. Bye. We have prepped, <laughs> look at Gucci. We've prepped the living room for the sofas because they should be here in like less than an hour. Super exciting. So we moved the coffee table and we got it all ready. So I'm just kind of waiting. Shelly's here, but he's about to leave and go to his second training session. I just ran out to another store to pick up a swatch that I needed. I actually ordered this swatch, but for some reason it just was taking forever to get here. So I have these, now I'm looking for a rug that's gonna go in the same room. And the leather is gonna be some futons that look like sofas. And then this striped fabric is gonna be two accent chairs. Pretty. We have our couches, but it's in-home delivery. For some reason, I thought they were gonna set them up, but this this is what in-home delivery means. So, I don't, I might, I, I'm just gonna wait until Shelly gets home because I've done the table and the chair, I've done it so much by myself and the desks, and I like threw out my back the other day doing that, so I'm just gonna, leave these here and when he gets home we can do it together but the guys are super nice i just felt so bad because there's no ramp there's just like stairs at the front of our building so they had to like potato roll these up like four flights of stairs to get to the elevator and then once they're in the elevator it was fine but i just felt really bad um but good service great service and i'm excited to see what they look like <laughs> look how big this is yeah, I'm not even gonna attempt to do that on my own. What happened to your rug? What happened to your rug? What is this? What is this? In his view, the steps that we've taken haven't quite done the trick. The rumors still haven't gone away. So I told Shelly, he called me on his way home. He said, how do the couches look? And I said, they look great. He said, are they comfortable? I said, they're really comfortable. And then he walked in. It was a great joke. We all laughed, we had a great laugh. Yeah. Watch out, Gucci, I'm just gonna start slicing. No! <laughs> Okay, let's open that side and cut from the other side. 
We got one sofa complete. Shelly, what That's are your good. what are your thoughts? I really like it. Yeah, it's comfy, but it's firm. I like the color. It's gonna be dangerous when I have my coffee over here. Oh. Sneeze, <laughs> you never know. But uh, I yeah, just don't it. sneeze. He's done that so many <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> he sneezes and spills his coffee. Yeah. yeah, we really like it. And look at the legs. The legs are really cool. Super easy. It's literally just two pieces that you put together. This part can fluff up a little bit. Cool. All right, let's finish this. Yeah. Turn this on? Sure. I love it. <gasps> look at our little home. And we don't even have to touch or see each other. We can be on our own sofas. That's amazing. You can spill on yours. Cool. That's awesome. Wow. I'm so excited to watch a movie here. I know. We just have so <laughs> <laughs> It looks so good over here. Look at how much stuff we have over there. So this is what I'm thinking, maybe. What do we even do? So I will start breaking up the cardboard. You start getting trash bags and putting like these little boxes and all that the trash in these box, as many trash bags as you can, and then we'll start taking loads. And then we're, we're gonna we, we, yeah, we will start taking loads down to the uh, the garbage chute. Oh God! Because we can't move that much out. It's gonna take a long time. <sighs> Let's get it over with. I'm very impressed with us right now. This is all of the plastic and smaller bits, and then this <laughs> is all of those boxes broken down. Not bad. You have to end my video for me because I'm in my pajamas. Okay. Um, be sure to check out the YouTube channel Become a no. Lead. Go follow Matt Sheldon on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, everything. And I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, go to Matt Sheldon's videos and hit the thumbs up button. Hi right, guys. Peace. Peace.